overthinking sisters, I need some advice, specifically financial. Let's go ahead and get into it. I promise you're going to get something out of it. This advice I have is you're going to be creating a list. This list is going to have the items that you want so you can categorize it. You can create a notion board if you want. You can get as creative as you want. This is for your eyes only. Makeup, shoes, clothes, anything that you want, you're going to categorize and you're going to add these things. You can even add bullet points. You can add pictures so that it's a quick tip reference. You can add notes as to why you want this product. Like for example, oh, maybe I want this retinoid because it's gonna help with dark spots or at least that's what you saw in the video or these are the most comfy shoes that you've ever had. Just add those little notes because we're gonna come back to them. This is gonna be like a Christmas list. You're just gonna have a lot of fun creating this list. While you're creating this list, you're also saving money. So every month you're gonna put a little bit of your money, whatever you can afford, into a savings account. This is gonna be a fun savings account not your emergency fund you're not touching your emergency fund or your future goal savings mine is called a britney savings account and every money every dime that's in there is just for me to use to purchase things on my list so do you see where we're going with this the savings account and the list have combined together example today ulta had a sale five times points i went ahead and did is i went my savings account and i said I have this much funds that I need to use or that I want to use so I'm in this sale so now I know exactly when I go into Ulta that's my limit that's what I will be spending I am not buying things that I cannot afford save me so many headaches because for example there were some shoes that I saw on TikTok and I'm like oh they are so cute I want to get them and so I added them to my list and then when it came time to it I'm like okay I have enough funds I'm gonna go ahead and see what I want to buy from my list and then sure enough, I'm, I had been thinking about these shoes and I'm like, they actually don't go with anything in my wardrobe. I like it. I've seen Pinterest inspirations on it, but they don't match my wardrobe. I mean, I would have to get a whole new wardrobe for these shoes to match. So they, they just don't match my lifestyle at the moment. Meaning I'm not going to go ahead and spend my money on that. I might as well go through the list and see what other things I can purchase from the list because this these are the things that I actually want. The advertisements here on TikTok, I go, you need this item. Let me tell you something. You don't need that item. If you can't afford it you do not need it this brings me to the topic of after pay i recently heard when i see these young girls and they're like oh i spent my whole paycheck on this i put this on after pay huh? Ooh, girl math and we need to be thinking about the future we can't just be thinking about oh what wow, these earrings were so cute this makeup was so cute this and that was so cute no we need to be thinking about what, how much we're putting into the savings account how much money are we investing it's cute that's girl math Next time you see a video that says, well, you need this product. Okay, maybe you do add it to your list and see if you want it a month or three months from now when you do have the funds for it. This is advice, a little bit of rant, but as a big sister, actually am a big sister to a guy, not a little boy, as at least how I see him. So these are the types of advice that I always gave him and I want to share with you because I think it's so important that we need to get our mind right when it comes to money, especially if you're first generation. Like these are the things that need to be in your mind. You're not you're not keeping up with the Johnson system, believe me. Some people that you think are keeping up or they live this luxury life have a bunch of debt and that is not where you and I are trying to be. I hope this helps. I love talking finance. Just give me some cafecito and we can talk about it all day long. But if you do like it, let me know in the comments and I'll make more videos like this. Super <laughs> close to my heart and I'm happy to talk about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know any advice that you have because I know you have some advice. I know you're smart and I know you I share some things with some other little sisters and your wonderful advice. Leave it down in the comments and I can't wait to see you next time.